In this tutorial, I'm going to discuss perfect competition. I'm going to do some calculations with numbers. This is the second video in three videos. The first video is just an introduction with no calculations. This video, the second video, uses numbers. And the third video uses calculus. Each one's independent. And in this video, I'm going to use numbers and calculations. On the horizontal axis, I'll plot quantity. And on the vertical axis, I will plot cost per unit. I'm going to use price of 12. It could be 12 pounds, 12 dollars, 12 anything, but this is the price of 12. Since the individual supplier is a price taker, price and marginal revenue are the same. I'll draw in the marginal cost curve, the average total cost curve, and also the average variable cost curve. The individual supplier will produce where marginal revenue equals marginal cost. So MC, marginal cost, is equal to marginal revenue. This is where profits are maximized. The supplier will produce a quantity of 20 in this case. At a cost of, I draw straight up and right across from here a green line. Right there. So I have a cost of 7. And that's cost per unit. Also price per unit. Total revenue is price times quantity, or the purple rectangle. In this case, 12 times 20. This equals to 240. That's price times quantity. Total cost is equal to 7 times 20 or the green rectangle. Again, 7 times 20. This is equal to 140. That's average total cost times quantity. So, total revenue minus total cost is total profit. 240 minus 140 is equal to 100, which is total profit. Or I can look at this rectangle here and calculate profit too. Profit is 12 minus 7, so it's a rectangle of height 5, or 12 minus 7, and a width of 20. So 5. times 20 also equals 100. So let's imagine the producer, the supplier, decides to produce a quantity where profit margin is maximized. In this case it would be 13. So we have a cost of 6, cost per unit, and price is still 12 per unit. So price minus cost is maximized. That distance right there, that's where it's the most. But that's different than profit maximized. So profit at this point, total profit, is the base of a rectangle with 13 and a height of 6. That's the rectangle right there. So 12 minus the cost of 6 is equal to 6 also. So total profit becomes 6 times 13, which is equal to 78. Total profit before was 100, so profit is less. So this is where profit is maximized. When there are a lot of profits, new people come into the market and they force price down. In this case, price goes down to $9 or 9. Now people enter the market 
And what we find is the producer or the supplier still produces at a marginal cost equals marginal revenue and a quantity in this case at 17. And profit, of course, is smaller and it's that gray rectangle. More people enter the market because, hey, everybody's making money. Get into the market. Prices go down some more. In this case, to six. So marginal cost is equal to marginal revenue again. In this case, cost is also six. And quantity is 13. Again, cost is six also. Cost and price are the same. So total revenue is 6 times 13, which is 78. And total cost in this case is 6 times 13, which is also 78. Total revenue minus total cost is total profit. In this case, it's 0. And I should be saying total economic profit is 0. So in the end, not in the end, but total economic profit is greater than accounting profits because it includes opportunity cost. Let me put everything back. If people keep entering the market, prices will be forced down even more. In this case, all the way down to a quantity of 11, a price of 5, and a cost of six. In this case, there's a loss. Cost per unit is greater than price per unit. Of course, it's gonna lose money, which is that red rectangle. So total revenue is five times 11, which is equal to 55. Total cost is six times 11, which is 66. So the supplier loses 11, has a loss of 11, total loss, total economic loss. And, but they're still covering their opportunity cost and day-to-day -day expenses. So let me draw back in the average variable cost and imagine people still enter the market and push price down even further this is a shutdown point. Any price at that level, people start leaving the market. So up next, I'm going to do a calculus proof. And even if you're not taking advanced economics or mathematical-based economics, you got to give it a go. Give it a shot. Anyway, perfect competition. Party more, stay less.